This is Your Sport Swindon and I'm joined now by Swindon Town legend Don Rogers as we go over some of the hottest topics from the week that's been in the football world. Don, thanks for joining me today. Um, the thing that I really want to talk about today is ticket prices. We've all seen it, particularly the Liverpool fans walk out after finding out that they're going to have to pay £77 for a ticket in their new main stand next season. And also the fact that Premier League clubs have decided against capping away ticket prices to £30. What are your thoughts on all that, particularly considering the TV rights deal, which has brought in £5 billion for these Premier League clubs next season? Well, that's what I was going to say to you then. With all the money that's coming into the Premier League, um, I was watching a programme on Sky the other night and a couple of the uh, reporters there weren't very happy with it. Is it Soonest or somebody, or somebody were having a go at it? And uh, even he was saying exactly the same thing, that with all the money they're getting from all these deals they do, that they shouldn't be putting the prices up at all. And I quite agree with that. I mean... You, you, you can't play football without supporters. They're, th they're what the club is. You know, the, the club are supporters. So if you don't look after them, you're going to lose everything. You know, so I think they've got to think again about that. And away ticket price, I think it's great to make them cheap if they can and get more supporters there again. Absolutely. But the thing that, that got me with the, with the fact that they walked out in the 77th minute to, to symbolise the £77 pounds yeah. charge, yeah. as soon as they walked out, they were 2 0 up. But then when they left the stadium, they yeah. they end up drawing two two. So do you reckon that actually had an impact on the game, or is it just one of those things? Well, we'll never know. But I mean, it it, it can do you any good. It must take your eye a bit with people leaving the stadium. You're thinking, why are they? Well, they obviously knew they why they were leaving, but it can't be very nice playing in front of that, you know, because the more noise you get, the better it is for the home team. And that actually must have really helped to make their point that without fans, the football club are nothing. Because as soon as they walk out, they go and concede two goals. That really helped. It couldn't have been better, could it? I mean, it was a perfect thing for the supporters, you know, 2-0 up and then going back to 2 or what they must have thought. Well, they'd probably they were sick, I expect, because they're good supporters, obviously, those people, normally. So I just think they were really annoyed what they did. <laughs> Definitely. But the thing that got me as well is the fact that people are saying, oh, yeah, fans, without fans, the football club's nothing. But... For a club the size of Liverpool, are the board looking at that and thinking, OK, 10,000 people left, but there's another 10,000 people out there that would take those seats. Do they really need to worry, particularly for a club that size, do they need to worry about keeping the fans happy when they've got such a big fan base to cover those seats? Oh, they need to worry. I mean, you can't afford to lose one spectator, let alone 10,000. I mean, there's no guarantee the 10,000 are going to come into those seats. The people that go, it's exactly the same as Swindon. We have 7,000 people that go every week. If you upset 50 of those, are you going to replace them? Probably not. So, and Liverpool, just because they're a big club, you've still got to look after the fans. The fans are the most important thing to the club, after the team. And they talked to Jordan Henderson after that game, and he said, no, we weren't affected by it, we can't use that as an excuse, we're professionals. But do you think they would have been affected by that? I mean, it's quite possible some of the players could have been, you know, thinking, what's going on here? Well, you know, because you do get distracted by things like that. I mean, you're probably looking at the clock and thinking... 75, I wonder if they're going to leave now. And it's, Some people would have thought about it, I'm sure, but it doesn't really affect you, though, I don't think. OK, so just finally t touching on the ticket prices issue, what do you think the future is? Do you reckon the clubs are going to have to reassess what they've done here or are they going to carry on? I think the Premiership clubs are going to have to start thinking about it because people are reading £5 billion you know, deals and all this and they're still paying top prices. And I mean, in other countries, it's quite cheap to go to football, so they're going to have to start thinking... But the Premiership is such a love thing, if you like, that people, I think people will go anyway, whether it's £100 or what it is, they'll go. But they're going to have to be careful, I think. And so what about closer to home in League One, where Swindon play at the moment? Are you happy with the ticket prices at that level? Well, I mean, I don't... I really, it's quite expensive, I think, to go to football. But, I mean, for, for two hours of entertainment, I think it's... Some days you come out and think, well, that was well spent, and then the next day you think, well, oh, crikey me, it's only for, for that, you know, and... But, I mean, I don't think it's too bad, no. OK, so not too bad at that level then. And talking about the fixtures that have happened since we last spoke, a loss to Port Vale and a draw against Gillingham, what were your thoughts on those matches? Um, well, my family went to both games, actually, so I did find out a bit about it. And um, Port Vale, I think, we were could have got away with the draw, I think, if we, we didn't play particularly well. But Gillingham on Saturday, I think we... Um, we did. We were quite happy with the draw, I think, what, what they told me when they came back. So... And they're Swindon Town supporters, so if they're saying it's, you know, then that's probably what the result should have been. Absolutely. And looking ahead to your next fixture, quite an important one against Colchester. Surely got to be looking to take all three points from that. Yeah, that's going to be a tough game, though. You know, just because they're bottom of the league, they're fighting. And our coaches are always fighting for their last year, I think, was the same. So, um, no, it'd be a tough game, but, I mean, we'd, we'd expect to win that. 
Brilliant, Don. Thanks for your time. See Thank you next you. week. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.